This made things totally clear for the 49ers, the consequences will certainly come for him, don't forget to subscribe. Debo Samuel's social media activity on Monday raised some questions about his happiness with the San Francisco 49ers. Samuel sent a cryptic post on X Monday that seemingly defended his lack of production in recent weeks. Samuel denied that he was struggling, instead claiming that he was just not getting the ball. In a follow-up post, Samuel tried to clear up his comments, and denied that they were meant to be critical of any of his teammates. Just cause I voice my opinions mean I'm hating on any of my teammates, he wrote. Regardless of intent, Samuel sounds unhappy neither with the coaching staff or with factors beyond his control. He had just two catches for 22 yards in Sunday's 38-13 win over Chicago, and he has not had more than 22 receiving yards in a game since Week 10 against Tampa Bay. He only has two touchdowns on the season, and the most recent one of those came in Week 6 against Seattle. Sunday's performance was concerning not just for the lack of production, but also the lack of involvement. He get five rushing attempts, though he only tallied 13 yards off them. There were some reports that the 49ers at least considered trading Samuel last offseason. Those rumors may pop up again this offseason, especially if Samuel continues to sound frustrated about how his season is going. On Sunday, Samuel got the ball seven times, once more than George Kittle, who's having an all-pro season. Samuel is not having an all-pro season, and yet only running back Isaac Garendo got the ball more than Samuel on Sunday. In addition, Samuel has 72 touches this season and is on pace for 96. In 2023, he had 97 touches. In 2022, he had 98. So he's right on his usual pace. The difference is Samuel, he's not he player he was the past few years. He's not explosive anymore and he doesn't break tackles like he used to. Last season, he broke 17 tackles. This season, he has broken only 4. Breaking tackles and running after the catch is what made Samuel good. Now, he doesn't break tackles, he's not a threat after the catch, he can't beat man-to-man -man coverage, he has a small catch radius and he drops too many passes. Comment if you believe Debo Samuel's time in San Francisco is over, thanks for watching.